In this video, I will go over how to replace null values with text. There's a few ways to do this, so I'll go over uh, each way, and you can use which way uh, is best for your workflow. So we have a text input with four columns uh, with a bunch of blanks. Uh, one way to do it is to go to the Preparation tab and use the Data Cleansing tool. With the default selections, we've got all of the fields selected, and under Replace Nulls, it will replace uh, the string fields with blanks and numeric fields with zero. Now if I hit Run As Is, we'll notice that the Year field has zeros because that was an integer type field. So if you want blank for everything, what we can do is we can add in a select tool before, change the year to a vstring, and run one more time. Now we can see that we've replaced nulls with blanks. However, let's say you want to replace with some other text string. What we can do in that instance is use this multi-field formula tool. This will apply a formula across multiple fields. Any or all that you choose you want to apply this logic to. What we can do is we can say select, uh, we want to do in this case all types of fields, and we'll select everything. I do not want to copy the output fields, um, but I do want to change the output to vstring, and I want to make the size a little bit larger just in case. And now the expression here is going to be if our current field is equal to null, then no value. Else, give me back the current field. And if. And when I run this, we'll see that we have replaced the nulls with a specific type of string. In the reverse, if you have a specific string that you're trying to replace with a null, we can do the opposite of what we've just done. So if we have this multi-field multi -field formula tool, we can say if the current field is no value, then return null. So you might want to use this in the event you have many columns with a uh, filler for no value, and that filler might not be beneficial in your workflow, and you just want to make them null, you can use this formula. And this is a few ways on how we can take nulls and fill it with a specific value.